Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice radical expression. We have square root of 152 minus 14 square root of 15. And we have to simplify this without using a calculator. But before we begin, go ahead and pause the video and try first. Now let's get started. Now the very first thing I'm going to do is to write this algebraic identity. A minus B all squared is equal to A squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Now I'm pretty sure the question on your mind right now is how does this algebraic identity relate to the problem you are having right now? I'm right, huh? But guess what? This algebraic identity is the key to this problem without using a calculator, okay? Now watch this. I'm going to express this whole thing in the form 2ab, okay? So we have 14 square root of 15. Now I'll write 14 as 2 times 7. Then I'll write this square root of 15 as square root of 3 times square root of 5. Okay? Now I'll keep these two. So we have 2 here. Then I'll multiply this 7 by this square root of 3. So we have 7 square root of 3. Then times this square root of 5. Okay, now I'm going to call this 7 square root of 3 A, then I'll call this root 5 as B. So you can see that we have 2 A, B, just like this one. Okay, now from here, you can see that A is squared. So I'm going to square A over here. So we have 7 square root of 3 all squared is equal to, now 7 squared is 49, then times this square will cancel this so we have 3 over here and 49 times 3 is equal to 147 all right then here we also have b squared so i'm gonna square b over here so we have square root of 5 squared is equal to 5 okay now let's sum this 5 and then this 147 so we have 147 plus 5 and this is equal to 152 and you can see that we have 152 over here so in place of this 152 i'm gonna put 147 plus 5 okay so this expression becomes square root of 147 plus 5 then minus now you can see that this 14 square root of 15 is equal to this whole thing okay so in place of this i'm gonna put this so we have 2 into 7 square root of 3 times square root of 5. now watch something carefully over here this 147 was derived from this 7 square root of 3 all squared so in place of this 147 i'm gonna put this then this 5 was also derived from square root of 5 all squared. So I'm going to exchange this one as well. So this expression becomes square root of 7 square root of 3 squared then plus square root of 5 squared then minus 2 into 7 square root of 3 times square root of 5. Okay? And initially we said that a minus b all squared is equal to this thing. And we said that a is equal to 7 square root of 3 and then b is equal to square root of 3. So this implies that a minus b all squared is equal to 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 5 all squared. Okay, so in place of this whole thing, I'm going to put 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 5 all squared, okay? So we have square root of 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 5 all squared. And straight away, you can see that this square will cancel this square root. Now we have 7 square root of 3 minus square root of 5. And guess what? This is our final answer. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. 
please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new and share this video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.